Here are the test results. And can you make sure the oncology report is sent to Dr. Wyatt? Well, I can't get a hold of him unless I have to tell him one of his kids got sent here. Thank you. All right, I'm heading out. Hmm? Who? Oh. Right. No, no. I'll handle this. Well, now. Look what the beast brought in. How many times does this make it? Three times? I should charge you lunch money every time I have to patch you up. What happened this time? Stung by B, get into another fight, did something you know you should... Oh, Jesus. Come with me. Lie down. Easy now. How long ago was this? Ugh. This is a mess. Tell me exactly what happened. And don't give me the same excuse like last time. Because this will determine if I will treat you in the future. I've treated many people before, and they refuse to listen to me. They're downstairs in the morgue if you ever want to talk to them. Or if... They are somewhere else. So, you had limited resources, no ammo, not enough, uh, mana. Mana. <laughs> That's a funny name. Of course it is. You hear about that in fantasy novels and video games. But not in this world. At least you made it out. I think if you stayed for too long, more of your teammates would have gotten hurt. Look, it's not my part in getting involved with whatever or whoever did this. But I believe things will get worse from here on out if you're not careful. Just because you have... Just because you have new powers doesn't mean you can show off like Cirque du Soleil. Oh, there's no denying you can do that. I've seen what you're capable of. And it's amazing. But I'm simply saying, no one's going to save you if you don't take proper precautions. Besides, whatever happened to that one medic who joined? I see. And there's no way they can be found. Or come back from, for that matter. I'm just glad things didn't get worse. I guess this is what it's like to be the only one fixing people who continue to take a stand. For me, fixing the mess is what I'm known for. It became a habit, and the next thing I knew... 
I started to heal people. It wasn't the beasts or the unknown forces. I was just not meant for fighting. That's why I left. This was during my pre-med years. When you have duty calls in this world, in the other world, your days are numbered. No rest days. Anything could happen. All right. Stitching is done. Sit up slowly. Don't go off adventuring and getting into fights for the next couple of weeks. I'm sure your teammates will take over. Unless they come crashing into my clinic. In which case, I'll have a lot of explaining to do to our hospital director. Don't worry about me. But when the time comes, and you are about to go back out there, let me provide you with some supplies beforehand. I got some back at my place. Safe and locked. Alright. You're good to go. Remember, no roughhousing. Here's some extra gauze to change. Just remove the bandage and replace a new gauze and wrap it back up. Hey, I have a question. How is everyone? I know it's been a while, but are they at least living a good life? I told you, I can't. I made a moral decision not to go back to that place. Besides, given my condition, I'm no good in that environment. Not anymore. Yeah, I know. Well, the next time you see them, tell them I said hi. Now go home, and don't bother calling me. It's midnight, and I'm expected to leave. Got another shift in the next several hours. Take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah. You too.